Welcome, warm welcome to another LexisNexis um, uh, user webinar. It's uh, the 12th, already the 12th user webinar. And uh, today we have a really, in my opinion, a really, really exciting topic. Uh, it's going to be about the um, export presentation function. So um, already in our tool, you can uh, set up and generate really nice uh, analyses. Um, and uh, of course you can share them within the tool but uh, we now provide a new option of sharing uh, analyses easily in a convenient uh, way and uh, that is uh, with a powerpoint presentation um, uh, I'm, I'm supporting uh, my um, colleague uh, Daniela Kloisberg, who's uh, relatively new at PatentSide a couple of months now. And um, yeah, it's, uh, uh, a lot of people, some people already met her uh, in some, some meetings and uh, we thought uh, this is also a good way to introduce her um, to, to everyone else. And um, Daniela will today show you how to use um, this new um, export function. Um, before we go into this, um, some logistics, some housekeeping points. Uh, once again, this uh, webinar is going to be recorded and uh, we will provide you with a link to the recording uh, later on. And with this, I um, will hand over to um, Daniela, who will show you how the new function will work and give you uh, some more information on this. Thank you, Andy. Hello, everybody. This is Daniela from Patent Site. Um, so what can we do with uh, this new feature? With PatentSide, um, there are many uh, ways to do analysis. You can uh, save them in work workbooks. Uh, we had already possibilities to share these before. Now we have a very comfortable new one. The export presentation function allows the customer to export workbooks, sheets, and widgets as PowerPoint presentation and these presentations can have the patent side default format or your own corporate design. And um, yeah, I already jumped into uh, the software uh, because my uh, presentation um, yeah, is frozen. Now I can demonstrate you uh, in the software how this new feature works. First of all, um, we have um, well, let's say I'm working in the IP department of company X and I did an analysis with patent side. I created a workbook um, like this with the following chart types um, with a bubble chart. Here I inserted uh, some comments, then a line chart, column chart, a combination with a pie chart, a table, a map chart, uh, the sunburst chart, and finally a matrix chart. If I want to export um, this workbook um, as a presentation in patent side default format, I have to go to export, export presentation, then choose the format, this. You will see uh, that some of these sheets need a little further adjustment regarding the labeling of the data, for instance, um, depending on the number of rows, tables will only partly be exported as table and provided with additional data. Um, Sunburst chart and map chart will be exported as screenshot provided with a link to an Excel worksheet. Now let's open it. Okay, works. Perfect. The bubble chart um, looks quite good. Here we see the top, uh, we see our comments again. And uh, here I can uh, adapt the names of the companies, for instance. And um, 
Yeah, here we have uh, the line chart. It looks quite good too. Uh, the cool thing is um, you can see the data behind all the charts. If I go here, Daten bearbeiten, and um, maybe I can show you what happens when I add the zero, the whole thing changes. Really impressive. Um, the, yeah, same with the column chart. Uh, in all charts, you have the data. Here, in, um, in all charts, you can uh, change the color. And um, maybe here I can change it to blue. And I can um, drag those fields so it looks cleaner, especially here. In this uh, chart, this is very useful. The table charts, uh, they can be adjusted a little bit. They are provided uh, with additional data too when you click on this worksheet here. As you can see, the map chart is exported as a screenshot with additional data here too. Our Sunburst chart is um, also exported as a screenshot with additional data. It is not possible to rename the technology fields in here, but here in our matrix chart, you can uh, rename the cluster fields. And um, yeah, fill in whatever you want. So you can see clearly that these sheets are very customizable. You have even uh, the possibility to export the workbook to your own branded PowerPoint template. How to do this? Um, either you adjust your um, uh, our preformatted uh, sample templates, or um, you uh, create your own. If you want to create your own. First, you have to open PowerPoint. Go to View, then Slide Master. Um, now, under the Slide Master, there should only be one layout sheet. Minimum uh, requirement for this sheet is that it has to have a text field. So uh, I take this one and I um, yeah, delete the others. Now I close the master view. And um, Another thing you have to do is uh, to change the name of the placeholder um, into widgets container. Uh, now the export engine knows where to place your uh, analysis. To um, go to, you have to go to Markieren, Auswahlbereich, then to click into the um, you have to click into the um, 
text field. Then um, click into the selection highlighted, change the name of the selection into widgets container. And um, then maybe adjust this a little bit. Here, this is the place where uh, the for the charts. So it's got to be really huge. Um, yeah, these are the mandatory adjustments. There are some adjustments that are optionally. Uh, you can read more about this in the knowledge base and watch further training the uh, training videos. For instance, you can choose to have um, uh, chart settings in the note section. You um, fill in these hashtag. Note section hashtag or for the title field you fill in hashtag sheet name hashtag so maybe we change this into making it a little bit smaller and um, yeah, uh, you can also insert the uh, logo of your company. Let's see. I already prepared my logo. Can copy it. Go back to PowerPoint. And paste. Adjust. A little bit. So you can add as many slides as you want. So I copy this to show you um, just like a title uh, slide would look. Maybe de delete this one, um, delete uh, this one because you don't want to have a chart in here. Then uh, maybe here fill in the um, something like what, you know, review. So enlarge this. And here, the end, maybe you could say um, for more information, please um, x.com. Delete this one again. Yeah, and save it. Now to upload this template, you have to go back to the BI. Here, you have to uh, go to the settings personal settings, export to PPTX. And then you have this um, button click to select file. I go to portfolio review, load it up, click. And then export again.
So why is this feature extremely useful for you? Um, imagine um, I want to present the analysis in my workbook to my CEO. So it has to look pretty good. Of course, I could present the analysis live in the BI, but this can be complicated um, if I would like to combine it with non patent side content, for example, or uh, I could do screenshots of each and every sheet and enrich uh, my presentation with these. But this is uh, not adjustable. I can't change a thing, for instance, um, renaming a field is not possible, um, and these sites. Uh, doing copy and paste with all these screenshots is uh, time consuming. So here we are. Um, another option might be to build all the charts out of the Excel data. This takes even more time, even, um, yeah, even if you know how to do it. So uh, in a nutshell, with the PowerPoint export, you have a time saving method to create good looking adjustable charts. As you can see here. Now, um, yeah, I will hand over to Andy again, uh, who will say a few uh, closing remarks. Yes, thank you very much. I think that was a really good uh, demonstration of uh, of what is possible and how how we can now easily transfer all these these really useful information from patent side, these really useful uh, analyses into a PowerPoint presentation, a really good looking uh, PowerPoint presentation, um, and then uh, report, uh, for example, to your upper management. So I think this is a really, a really improvement, can be a really good improvement to your workflow. Uh, having your set workbooks with your defined set of analyses, you always have to report to the management or to your internal clients. You just save the workbook, adjust this, uh, do uh, three clicks to the PowerPoint presentation, have all of this in your in your already in your corporate layout with all the information your internal clients need, and then you can uh, just send this out. So in my opinion, uh, a, a huge uh, uh, time saver. So I think that was a really good uh, demonstration of that. Um, I don't know uh, who of you recognized it. We, uh, I hope all of you, because all of you uh, went into our BI this week uh, since uh, since Tuesday. There was a pop-up um, showing that um, this is now available for for a free trial period until the end of next week. So uh, please make sure you you, um, you you try out uh, this this new great feature. Uh, until until then, so you get a feeling, and then have an idea uh, if it can help you, which I'm I'm pretty sure it can. And uh, if you're then further interested in 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 having this tool, you can reach out to your customer success manager um, to to get a quote. Um, yeah, and with this um, we are uh, uh, done. Daniela, thanks a lot uh, for the uh, demonstration again. And um, all of you, if you have any questions uh, regarding the tool, please feel free to reach out to your um, to your uh, customer success manager. And uh, with this, um, I wish you uh, a very pleasant uh, rest of the week and uh, looking forward uh, to talk to you in an upcoming user webinar. We will inform you what the topic is going to be. Take care, everyone. Bye.